Hey everyone, welcome to TechScale. So today I'm going to tell you uh, how you can access the Google Message app. That is, as you can see, I am using the Google Messaging app. You see the icon on web. That means on a laptop, on a tablet or on anything that supports a web browser. It can be Chrome, it can be Mozilla Firefox, it can be a Safari in Mac OS or iOS. So I'll be showing how you can do that, right? So for the reference purpose, I'm using an iPad here as you can see, or you, you can simply do it in your uh, laptop as well. Just to, for the demonstration purpose, I'm using an iPad here, right? So first of all, uh, you should have the Google messaging app in your phone. As you can see, I'm having that app here. You click on these three dots and see if the option of device pairing is here. You tap on this, you will see some, some screen here. So the number one priority, uh, the number one requirement that is you should have the, this application. And in this application, when you click on three dots, you should have device pairing option in the app. So I have this uh, option here. I'll click on this. If you read on the screen it says send and receive message on your device uh, that is on the device that you want to pair that means the web browser right so as you can see there is a url and uh, written right over here so i'll type the exact uh, same url in my ipad the, or for you for you it can be your uh, uh what do we say it can be anything that is is like maybe your web browser in your laptop in your ipad or anything right so i'll write messages and i write google after that right so you can see you'll see three options here message google web so you'll simply click on this and here you can see you will have this uh, the first icon or you can see the first link that you see you will click on this particular link right so as you can see we have this google messaging app in our browser or you can see the website or the or the web app whatever you want to say we have that in in the browser so you have a qr code that you need to scan now so we again go to the device pairing screen that we click on three dots and device pairing and i simply i'll uh, scan this qr code i'll go and i'll scan the qr code this process is very simple and very fast as you can see it says all set and if you pay a little attention the all I have, I was having five messages over here, as you can see in my screen as well, it is having five messages and same message I am also having here, right? So it, it is asking you whether you want to remember this particular computer or not. So I'll simply type yes, because I, this is my iPad. So I'll simply remember this, right? So again, let's uh, start a chat now. So now I have added a test contact in my phone. And as you can see, the app is in sync. The app is working perfectly fine. We have three messages over here. And again, three messages over here. You can see not they are telling us not sent because I don't have recharge in my phone, right? So just to tell you how the message service is syncing. So I'll just paste a text that I copied, right? It says, hello, text scale. I'll, as soon as I hit on SMS sent, you will see the message popping right over here. I'll click on send. The message popped right over here, as you can see. And again, the same thing will happen if I do here and I'll type hello, a long hello, and I'll send this to this screen and it will start popping up on here. If your message service is working, you will be able to uh, just do these things. Again, you can send emojis from here. I'll, you know, select some emojis and I'll send those emojis here. And as you can see, these emojis popped up here. Again, I'll send uh, maybe some more else, something else this 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 and again i'll send here and those emojis will pop over here let's see if we can send gifs as well right so i'll type good luck let's see if there are any gifs yeah we have gif over here i'll simply type send and i'm not sure if that will pop up because this is uh being sent as a okay good luck is here and good luck is here right you can see the both apps obviously the sms won't be sent because there is no recharge but you see both apps are in sync now you know how you can directly access google messages on your phone so that means even if you don't have your phone you just need to have your internet maybe you forgot your phone at play at your place or maybe you are at work and you're not allowed to use your phone right so you can simply do this thing and access all your messages on your laptop on your ipad or whatever device you're having right this way this thing works perfectly fine and you can obviously send anything if you have recharge on this phone literally like anything same text everything will whatever text i type here it will sync exactly here and one more thing for example i delete this text okay i delete this and i 
deleted from here you see both the sms are gone from here as well so this is super amazing that google has included this uh messages message serving on web as well so this makes the whole thing seamless and super amazing so tell me if you found this video helpful and if you have any question regarding this particular feature you can ping me on uh, telegram or you can directly comment in the comment section right i'll uh, leave the link of this messages.google.com slash web in the description you can simply click on that and start the pairing process right so this means you can put this message service in as many phones or as many device as you want you simply if you want to uh remove this from here you'll simply click on this cross button and unpair as soon as you do this this will automatically log out as you can see the app got logged out and again the same process you need to follow to add it again you scan it it will automatically start showing on this phone so this process is seamless that's all for this video and i will see you in the next one Bye bye